I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of a natural glam, but I'll probably end up just doing my full normal makeup routine because I wasn't even supposed to do makeup with you guys right now. But I just can't stop talking to you guys because I love you. Okay, so classic thing, the brow thing I use. It's so bad now, what the fuck? Guys, everyone's saying different things. Okay, no, everyone's saying it's better, okay. So I am really, yeah, like I was saying earlier, I know I was only, I was saying this like 20 fucking minutes ago. I'm just so grateful because Reckless was really like a little bit of a battle when it comes to releasing it. And you guys are proven, you know, proven it right. And it means a lot to me. So keep streaming. The video is coming out every single day. We are moving along with it. Don't worry. It's my favorite music video by far that I've ever fucking done. So I hope you guys love it. It has such funny stories and like things behind it. So I can't wait to share everything with you once it's out. And we're gonna, we're gonna have a nice talk of, and chat about it. Look at the difference between doing one eyebrow and not. It looks like this side of my face got a facelift. So to all you people out there who say that I've been under the fucking knife 80 times, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Am I crazy or is there a huge difference? Like, I've never had a fucking brow lift. I don't even know what that is. Like, I've had my eyebrows waxed. I got my eyebrows waxed when I was like, 16 for the first time in my life and people use photos of me from when I was like 12 and they're like look at how weird she looked yeah my eyebrows were bushy and undone and it's just stop it's like oh my god I've never had I've never had an eyebrow lift and if I did I would tell you because I don't give a shit um that's the end of the discussion and yeah just just like enough like, look at this, for example. Here's, like, what I, my eyebrows used to look like because I would never do them. I didn't know how to do them. They were just, like, you know. This is what they always would look like on the left. They were just, like, bushy and messy, and I just didn't do them. And this is what they look like on the right. Is now I look like my face is like this, you know. And I don't, want to, I don't want to get into this right now. I just saw another... I just have to stop moving on fucking TikTok, but I saw another TikTok where it was just, like... It was just like, all here's all the work that Madison Beer's gotten done. I'm like, it's just so funny because if I did, why the fuck would I not have just come out at this point and been like, yeah, I did. Leave it alone and drop it. Like the only thing. Oh, and then they'll be like, oh, she says she got like her lip filler dissolved. But look at these two photos. And they'll use a photo of me from when I'm like swollen as can be. Like if I eat sushi, I wake up in the morning and my face and my lips are so swollen. If you look at my lips now, like right now. And you look at a photo of me from when I was 12, they look the exact fucking same. So, I just think it's interesting. There's just such like a confirmation bias when it comes to TikTok and people. And I'm just like, everyone's so fixated on this like idea. I'm being like, proving me wrong. And there's so many pages that I just see that I'm like, Anyone who's looking at this and believing it, it's silly because you're you're using a photo of somebody from when they were 12 years old and like making a face or like having their eyebrows not done or doing my, I used to not have any idea how to do my makeup. I also would used to use um, like makeup artists that weren't the best and that the way that you do your makeup can change your face so much like any, the only thing that I've ever done was got my lips filled. Like, literally, I got lip filler and can show you what I used to look like when I had it in. And it, it looks a lot different than I look right now. I Like, I'll, I will show you proof. And so, yeah, I'm just over talking about this topic. I don't want to ever talk about it again. And if you don't want to believe me, I'll take that as a compliment at this point because it's just silly. Like... It's just really silly. And it's also just no one's fucking business. And that's the thing is social media has created such a weird, like, entitlement between people. It's no one's business. If I don't want to disclose things that I've done. I keep getting phone calls. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm sorry. 
um, yeah, like, I think people should just, like, chill on that, you know? Like, everyone is entitled to live their life in their... (laughs) And not have to, like, share everything on social media. And I think that it's, like, we need to shift the conversation from, like, bringing each other down and being, like, oh, well, this girl looks like this in person and da 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 It's, like, everyone's a human being who's, like, has their insecurities. And I think that that's a really counterintuitive <clears throat> way to... Okay. I'm using my favorite concealer, which is Custard by NARS. I also have to, like... If I made a, a podcast, would you guys listen to it? Should I make a podcast? Um... Yeah, but I don't want to get, like, too into this topic. It's just really frustrating because I just, like, it's not hard to just uplift each other. And also stop commenting on other women's fucking bodies. Sorry, but stop. It's weird, and it's it's just, it's inappropriate. Like, stop talking about what people look like. Stop using photos of women. I'm not even talking about myself, like fucking drag me all you want like i'm used to it i've been dragged through the mud for 10 the past 10 years of my life every fucking day but there are some people that i see that i've spoken to personally in some of these like videos on tiktok that are like um you know like this is what this person looks like in real life like you don't know if this person like struggles immensely or has an eating disorder or has like anything going on like what the fuck mind your own business sorry It's just like, ugh, like, it's so crazy. Like, I remember when I was, like, severely struggling with food um, at one point, and I got so many, like, comments being like, oh, my God, she looks so good and, like, healthy. And I was like, oh, my God, yeah. She's like, stop talking about those bodies. It's just, like, enough. It's enough. It's enough. Um... What do you think about Inside by Bo Burnham? You don't even have to ask me that question. I think it's a masterpiece. And I think that he is one of the most passionate, prolific artists, writers. You want, I mean, I like to feel like calling him a comedian is reducing him to something like less than he... Like, he's so much more than a comedian. Um, and I think everything he fucking says is on point. And I think the internet is going to be the downfall of society in a lot of ways. I say as I do my la- my makeup on a live stream. It's very ironic, the lives that we live. But, um, yeah, I think it's incredible. And I have literally every song memorized. So, yeah, it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely highly recommend it. It's incredible. Where are the hoops? They're going to come in when I'm done. Um, I feel like your friend group has shrunk. Um, it definitely has. I've definitely distanced myself from a lot of people in my life. I, you know, people have, you know, who proved to me continuously that they're not good for me. I have now, you know, gone to a place where I'm like, cool, I'm out. (laughs) It was great knowing you, but I'm not gonna be friends with people who mistreat me. Also, like, please, guys, like, don't, like, start coming for people i'm not like shading anyone or talking about anyone in particular i'm literally just saying in general i'm not at a place in my life where i like have room for um you know people who aren't gonna treat me with the same respect that i treat them with and that is the end of the story um Um, what else? What else you guys want to know, my sweeties? I can't wait for that whole rant to be uploaded on TikTok and for people to be in the comments ripping me apart. Can't wait. That I want to say, and that I have to say, and like, that I feel so passionately about that I just feel like I can't because I've been, you know, canceled by the internet every like six to eight months for the last 10 years that I have, like, terrible PTSD with talking about things. It's genuinely, like, scary for me to talk about topics I'm, like, super fucking passionate about because I feel like we're in a society where if you have your own opinion about things, people don't tend to like that. But, um, I'm not gonna get too into this shit right now because I'm not in the mood. But, um, 
I'm an INFJ too. Hey, babe. Um. Okay, so now I'm gonna go spray my face. But yeah, more of the stories. Take it easy on each other, please. Like, I'm so tired of seeing like so much hate on like social media. It's just like I don't know. The same people who like literally bully people to death. If this person fucking committed suicide, would be like, oh my god, I'm so you know heartbroken over this news it's like you fucking bullied this person every single day of their life like genuinely that's 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 what the internet is to me and i'm just like i people will literally bully somebody like i'll read comments on somebody's tiktok and they are vicious vicious and i'm like this is how people die this is how people fucking die okay Weaponizing social media in this way is so scary. Like, you shouldn't be allowed on social media if you say shit like that. The amount of times I've been told to kill myself when I'm actually in, like, a suicidal mindset is so scary and dangerous that I'm just like... And if I did, then what would you guys all say? You know? Then what would the narrative be? Oh my god, like, we're so sad. It's like, really? Well, you bullied me every single day from age 12 onwards. So maybe you should be more responsible with your fucking words and not drive people to want to kill themselves. Sorry. See, this is why I can't start. It's because when I start, I can't stop because I'm so, like, upset about all of this stuff. It, like, disturbs me. You know? Like, it's, like, if I, I'm living proof. I've been in this for 10 years now. 10 years, okay? I got signed when I was 12. I'm 22 years old. If I have not gotten used to it, that should be enough. That should say volumes that it's not something that anyone should have to get used to. We shouldn't be in a society that it's okay to treat people and talk to people in the way that we do. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I've literally been told to kill myself every day for the last 10 years. So... So that's that. <laughs> anyway, on a lighter note, my palette is in all Morphe stores <laughs> currently, and I'm uh, really excited that we just extended our deal. And so um, it's unfortunate that you've gotten used to it. I haven't gotten used to it, though. Like, that's, what's, that's what scares me is I'm just like, if I have been dealing with it for 10 fucking years, like, and I, I still get so deeply affected by it, because I'm someone who, like, if I have a bad day, I can end up in a dangerous place by the end of the day. Like, my, I spiral so quickly that for me to, like, go on social media or TikTok and, like, open it and see something, see see a video that's hating on me, that's, it can be really dangerous. And, like, I don't know. I just think it's weird. Like, why are we normalizing being fucking mean to each other? And, like, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, rant over. Rant over, because it gives me more anxiety than it's worth talking about, so. Well, that's actually not true. It's really worth talking about, because it's important that people... It's important that people understand it's not okay to treat people that way, but... Um... Sorry, that part requires a lot of focus. My little inner corner bit. Okay. That looks good, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna like leave it at that and not do too much. Um. Might be a mistake turning this light on, but I kind of want to see my face a little bit more. Um, 
go in with a little more blush because on camera blush doesn't read as pink as I like it to. Wait, look at how cute this little tiny. Ugh, I got the wrong shade. Are you joking? This is. What the fuck? Well, look at this mini little. What's that noise? My gardener is here. This is the same shade. This is not the same shade. They literally like mismarked this. Oh. It's not the same shade at all. Fine. I'll use the big one, even though I wanted to use the cute little small one. That's fine. Yeah, I hope you guys just understand what I'm trying to say. And I hope that nothing I say comes like out wrong. I can I hope that people can tell like my intentions are obviously to just try to like uplift each other and do it in a way that is more productive. To me, there's just nothing productive about being so mean to each other. There's no need to be mean to each other. Okay. So there's my makeup. We're going to now do a little mascara. I started curling my eyelashes again. Just wanted to announce that. I stopped curling them for a little while. I don't know why, I just kind of like got over curling them. But now I'm into it again. I'm into the curl. Sorry, my face probably looks really weird. Is your nail okay? Yeah, my nail's fine. I, I took all my long nails off. And I have my like tiny short little nails again. And I'm kind of really into it. It's made my life much easier. Okay, and then final little step is my highlighter, which again, I'm gonna be on camera, so I'm gonna do more than I usually do. I saw another TikTok recently that was like, she wears way too much highlighter. Like, why do you wear so much highlighter? And I'm like, leave me the fuck alone. You don't gotta wear so much highlighter. I'll wear, I'll wear all the highlighter I want. And you are not gonna stop me. Um, and I'm gonna do some freck because when I put my concealer on, all my little freckles get covered, which I don't necessarily like. I really like my freckles, so. Freck is a great little product. If you, want, if you have freckles and you want them back out when, after you do your makeup, or if you don't have freckles and you want some, it's a great little product. Like that, how cute. Okay, next and last final step is my, my lip liner, which is everyone's favorite part. Okay, so I'll show you how I do it.
Okay. So I'll do that, and then I throw some gloss on here. I should put a filter on, by the way, if you are wondering why it looks different. I'm gonna go, I have to get dressed, and I have to leave, but I love you. We need new pics on your feed. I'm waiting for the video to drop, because I have a ton of content that I'm gonna post around that, so.